Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Monday, October 30th. Police have shot a suspected armed robber at King of Prussia Mall. This happened in the mall's parking garage yesterday afternoon. Investigators say the suspect tried to run down officers with his car. Last night, police confirmed he is the same man accused of robbing a woman at gunpoint in the mall's parking lot on Saturday. He is recovering in the hospital. And there is a move for a mistrial in the case against Senator Bob Menendez and a wealthy friend. Their attorneys claim the judge is not letting them present evidence and witnesses to prove their case. The New Jersey Democrat is charged with accepting gifts from Florida eye doctor Salman Melgin in exchange for political influence. Both deny the charges. Still no word on whether Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf plans to sign a new gambling expansion and tax package. It includes a $1.5 billion borrowing measure to get the state out of a financial hole. Some Republican lawmakers say they prefer the package over tax hikes. The gambling bill was packed with pet provisions to bring cash to lawmakers' districts. Okay, let's get a check on the forecast with meteorologist Katie Fellner. Yesterday, Katie, it was a mess. Here's hoping there's a, an improvement today. Yes, some light at the end of that yes. proverbial tunnel, thankfully. Rahel, you know, we had the rain still out there throughout the morning. That continues to make its full departure, and most of the day actually clears out for some sunshine. However, wind continues to be a theme here. There's a wind advisory until noontime, so, you know, that advisory will go out of effect. But up until that point, there could still be gusts that are peaking anywhere from 45 to 50 miles per hour, and we've definitely seen that true already today. However, even though that advisory takes uh, goes out of effect here, we're still going to have that wind that's quite noticeable the rest of the afternoon, even despite the sunshine. And the one good thing about it is it should help clear out or dry out the roadways a little bit more swiftly. But we do stay chilly tonight. Thankfully, the wind should really begin to ease up at this point. And we, of course, have many fun and festive Halloween graphics. This is my favorite, the dancing mummy. Uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening look pretty good. Nice and clear with a nearly full moon, no less, for trick-or-treat purposes. And as we move it forward in the eyewitness weather, seven day our Wednesday, Thursday and Friday really starting a nice warming trend here. Just the possibility of a shower or two along the way. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.